<laughs> Doesn't get easier for us. Dunbar's eyes hurt. Something's wrong with it. Uh, this is some of the mud. That How do you know when you hit? He said, oh, you'll know. Hey guys, Dusty Baker with Cross Timbers Vice and welcome back to our channel. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for being a part of this. Hey guys, I also want to thank my sponsor today, Tomb Blast. Cannot wait to tell you about this game. This is the entry to the other side of our property. I haven't really shown you a whole lot of it, but um, I love this back side of this property. So just to kind of give you an idea of where we're at, right over there is some of the bison from the Dunbar and Haas herd. This is kind of a little narrow lane here that leads into our hay meta. A 17 or 18 acre pasture over here where the Dunbar and Haas herd has been for over a month now on some beautiful native grass. This is basically kind of what it looked like and, and they've been on it for a while now. So they've had a, a lot of grazing on it and it's changed a little bit. This is my neighbors right here. Um, it's another little 10 acre paddock, but so we've got this lane right here that you kind of drive through um, on the back side of our property. Got some cleaning up to do around this um, welded up entry. It's just like our other entry uh, on uh, the main road. Uh, that you always see. But what I'm doing is uh, I'm over here because it's nice to have another way into the property, but um, there are some people on the way and I'm very excited. It's been a long time coming for this and it's a much needed essential part of the backside of this property or just in the ranch in general. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through here we're going to say hi to Dunbar, Hoss heard the females, and we're going to make our way to actually the burn unit. And the reason that we came this way, because it was a lot closer and the roads are a little bit safer and you don't have to go through the creek because there's some big machinery on the way here right now. And uh, can't wait to show you guys what's going to be happening um, on the property, on the burn unit. And uh, it's going to be huge for this property. Hopefully it all works out and we get what we are drilling for. So that gives you a little hint of what's going on today. And uh, it's my first time dealing with this and it'll be the first one on this property. You guys are like, come on, Dusty, you're bugging me. You're bugging me here. Let me know what it is. Uh, I'll go show you when the guys get here. You can probably figure it out because some of you that may have been through this before and done this before on your property.
That's gonna take them a while to drill this. Um, and I'm, I'm gonna sit up here and kind of wait and see how it goes. Uh, because this is my first time being a part of a water well drilling. And so I'm gonna hang out here in the ATV uh, and wait on them while they're working. I'm gonna sit around here and hang out with them and cause I'm anxious and I hope that they hit water. So that's kind of why I'm hanging out and if they have any questions or anything, and uh, I'm asking them questions, trying to learn uh, from this. So I'm gonna hang out right here. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm doing though while I'm hanging out watching these guys. Take a look. Hey guys, I wanna tell you about this fun game Marissa and I've been playing, Tomb Blast. This kind of reminds me of like Saturday mornings when I get up as a kid, because that was the day that we got up and watched cartoons and tune characters around here. Let's kind of bring them back. All those childhood fun games we used to play. But this is a free mobile game. There's over 7,000 fun levels. There's no Wi-Fi needed, no matter where you are, out here in the middle of a pasture, at home, traveling, wherever you are. Some of the fun parts about this game is one, it's super challenging. Uh, just trying to kill some time <laughs> we are playing a game. It's uh, cheerful, it's got some upbeat music. It's just fun to play and it uh, keeps you really engaged. You can play mini games, uh, you can blast the cubes. There's fun puzzles. You can join the boosters, collect new items, earn rewards. You can compete against others all across the world. Toon Blast has millions of reviews and high ratings on the App Store and Google Play. Toon Blast offers over 7,000 levels. Marissa and I are on level 250. Don't forget to download a Tomb Blast for free. Click the link in our description or scan the QR code and you can receive three hours of unlimited lives and 100 free coins. All right, so what we got is a pretty interesting process. I've never been a part of this before, but hit rock about uh 50 ish feet which i'm um, sitting here talking to these gentlemen as they're drilling and telling me what's good and what's bad as far as the soil color it's good that the soil colors change as uh this is being pumped out uh air is pumped down into the pipe with water as well so it's kind of a muddy mess but air is pushed in it so that the mud comes back out as they are, are drilling the hole it's being cleaned out, it's brought up, and then they'll take and scoop it back, and scoop it out, keep the working area clean. But I'm seeing a lot of different uh, colors of soil, and uh, he's just kind of telling me uh, what you want to look for in this. And now we're at uh, 100 feet, so I'm getting kind of nervous at this point because uh, we hadn't hit water yet, and I figure we already would have by now, but we hadn't hit it yet. So I said, well, how do you know when you hit? He said, oh, you'll know. So that's what I'm waiting for is that, oh, you'll know part. <laughs> Hadn't done it yet. Uh, still no water yet at 100 feet. We just put the fifth joint in. These are a 20 foot joint, a drill pipe. And uh, another 20 footer is going in, which will make 120 and still no water. This whole summer stuff is not getting easier for us. We went 160 feet and we quit there. No water, guys. No water at the Ponderosa is gonna happen today. So you're probably wondering, well, why 160 feet? That'd be a mile south of us. These guys tried two wells, one at 360 feet and another one at 160 feet and didn't hit. Um, there's a bunch of dry wells in this area uh, and none that we know of have ever been drilled here. You see a little hand one right there. He said they must have just hit a little pocket of a hand dug well 
it's dry now uh, but you know back in the 50s I think when they actually had a home here so it's not looking good for uh, us as far as water goes so uh, let's see what we can do from here Since we didn't hit, uh, this is some of the mud that came, you know, anywhere from zero to 160 feet. Uh, this is some of the mud that, that came out of it. Didn't take long to dry up. This is an old hand dug well that they talked to me about and it, uh, they probably, they didn't even look at it, but I mean, we drilled 20 feet from it mainly and just not good so all right so what we're gonna do is since we didn't hit there is a backup plan though we're gonna try one more thing and uh, Ethan from the NRCS suggested this and we're gonna try it at least right over here there's a creek that runs to our property and um, right over here is an area where we can try uh, we probably won't have to drill at least 160 feet or so but we're gonna try one more place so we're gonna they're gonna move the equipment over there uh tomorrow and then uh we're gonna come back tomorrow and we're gonna they're gonna try to drill over there so we're gonna come back and check them out there and hopefully hopefully we hit we'll see it's gonna be they're gonna drill right off the creek and maybe there is some water there but the equipment's here and they're still here so we might as well try to do that and we'll go for there and see so Tomorrow we'll be back and we will see if we can hit right here. So, um, we're back day two and, uh, kind of over there by Marissa's unfortunate. We did not hit. We've drilled two dry wells. Um, kind of the worst thing possible in this situation, but, uh, I, uh, flew the drone a little bit, uh, to get some action of them drilling the second uh well here attempt to hit some water right here next to the creek the creek is right down here Maya is marissa is where they just drilled and uh here we drilled 100 feet and they quit they said if you're not hitting at least 100 foot you're not going to find any so they're trying to save me some money i get that and i appreciate that right back over here kind of the edge of that big pecan tree is where the other one was and we did not hit so it's kind of sad um, because what we were trying to do, guys, is get fresh water um, and, and run our water tanks, basically, and some of these pastures, some of these fields. Uh, it, it's better to have fresh water. We do have ponds, right? But, like, right now we're in the drought. And so those ponds, just like last year, you know, the animals get in them. Uh, they cool off because it's, you know, it's 100 to 105 every day. It's hot for those animals. Bison are tough. tough. We know that, but they do get hot, so they bathe in the water. Um, we could hot wire around it. Um, working on some hot wire ideas, maybe to hot wire around some of those ponds to keep them out of it, uh, so the water will be a little bit cleaner. Uh, but realistically, it would have been very nice to have some well water on this property. And uh, apparently there's no wells in this area on this side of Chickasaw Trail um that have hit water and we knew that kind of going into it but we want to take a risk and get it so what that means for us is because they didn't hit we still have to pay them um it's about 35 dollars a foot if you hit um for them to case it in and do all that but if you don't hit i think they charge half of that so we're looking in about the 16 17 dollar range um for not hitting but all the work that they put into it you still have to pay them so that's what we're looking at water is a very big deal today and as a necessity especially when we're trying to get fresh water to our bison and so we've didn't hit two places but um if you can hear what's going on next to me this is uh this is the creek so this creek runs just about year round i believe i think it does run year round we love this little spot right here it's a great little spot we cross with the ATV and whatnot 
Uh, but, uh, you know, when the bison were in here, this is part of the burn unit, by the way. When the bison were in here, they could drink out of it, just like Maya. Uh, it's good water. I don't think it's spring-fed at all. But uh, when we, I'd like to get it tested. We could get it tested. But this is another source of water they can get. Now, the creek only runs through the burn unit. The bison aren't, aren't always on the burn unit. Uh, there's the option of maybe pumping water out of here to fill up some of our water tanks in the future that we would like to have. Um, I don't know what we can do yet as far as taking water out of a creek. That legality reasons, you know, for something like that. So there's different options for us to look at, but we tried and we missed. And uh, now option, other options. I know some of you are going, well, Dusty, you got real water once you do that. We can run roll water and, and make some wa uh, put out some water systems and create our water systems using roll, roll water, but that can be very pricey. If you've got a well, you just basically just pay for the electric part uh, to pump the water up and get it to the water tank. So um, in this situation, we would still have to have roll water, but now you're actually paying for the water instead of using what's below uh, what would be a well water. Back to square one, and we'll look at uh, options B and C. B and C may be part of the creek or roll water. Those are our last um, options. This is out here. What are you doing? I mean, I'll be collecting some seeds from wildflowers. Collecting the seeds from wildflowers. Maya's like, what is that? Marissa loves her flowers. Nippers? No, I don't even know what you got my wire cutters? Wire, wire. Hey, look at there. This is mine. I don't know how long that thing's been there. Tell me, this thing survived the fire? Wow. Huh? Oh, the well guys probably dropped it. That's true. That's true. Well, was it? And this is all we got left. All right, enough of uh, the water well stuff. Kind of a downer right now, but since we're over here, we're gonna go check the Dunbar herd. We're not very far from them. Marissa and I are gonna go check them. They're over here in the hay meadow and uh, see how they're doing. Mm -hmm. There we go, look at all of them. Oh yeah. They're all falling apart in that bag. It's perfect out there. They're kind of crushing them. They're just kind of so small. Tiny. Think about the wind and they blow and they just roll across the plains. You know? But it was a really good year for them. So I figured maybe I'd collect some and see uh, if I can maybe grow some next year. Since I didn't have any luck with my other. Uh -huh. But yeah, here's the seed. Alright. Speaking of growing, this, these pecan trees are crazy right now. Let's go down there and check them real quick and see how our hot wire is. You're good. Well, probably shouldn't spread it out here, I guess. Turn it off a second, babe. There's comes Dunbar. Ooh, ooh, something's wrong with Dunbar's eye. Oh no, something's wrong with his eye. Dang it, I wonder what happened to it. Something's wrong with his eye. Let's do a herd count real quick. There's Haas. Got our two babies.
All right, so um, <laughs> it doesn't get easier for us. Um, uh, so Dunbar's eyes hurt. Something's wrong with it. I don't know what's going on. Um, Marissa and I just gave him some cubes, pulled out of the pasture, but his eye is super, super white. Um, and you could probably see it. I don't know what happened to him. Maybe it looks like he got jabbed or stuck or damaged it somehow and um, I don't know if he can see out of it or not it's kind of got a milky white to it pretty white actually um Hoss came up here to see us but didn't hit either well which uh we took a risk that's part of it but we really needed the water um but we'll look at the other options as far as that goes um Looks like looks like uh, my next concentration is uh, to figure out what's wrong with Dunbar. So Marissa and I are going to call Doc real quick, and uh, as soon as we get off here and see, send him some pictures and see what he says. We'll keep you guys updated on what to do with Dunbar because I've never dealt with this before. There's a lot of I nevers this summer. It's uh, been a rough summer, as you can tell. It is very dry, and there's hardly any grass. We've started to put out um, hay. It is September, and we're already putting out hay. So, um, things are tough right now. Um, hardcore drought going on. And if you're already putting hay out in August and September, it's uh, not good. So, that means more cubes for these guys. But we've got to figure out what's wrong with Dunbar. Um, we'll look at our other options for uh, water. I guess the good thing is, uh, <laughs> I do want to thank our sponsor today. And guys, you can help support us by going and downloading that Tune Blast. Guys, you can download it for free. You don't have to have Wi-Fi to play it. Guys, you can check out the link in the description right here. Don't forget, if you download today, you'll get three hours of unlimited lives and you'll get 100 free coins. Thank you guys for watching us. We'll see you guys soon.